guys, this is Christy Falk again with Create with Christy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US. Well, today I have another sneak peek product for you from the new 2021 to 2022 annual catalog from Stampin' Up! I promised this in my last video, and here it is. I actually made this originally as a birthday card for my dad a couple weeks ago, but then I made another one using the greetings that are in the stamp set. But I just think this makes really pretty masculine cards, and it doesn't just have to be masculine. But I know a lot of you out there are probably looking for masculine cards, and this is a really good bundle that you're gonna really love. So I'll show you the products here, and then we'll get started with the card. Okay, now let's show you the bundle first. This is the Beauty of Friendship bundle. I love the image on, on this. It's two-step, they are photopolymer, so they're easy to line up since they're clear stamps. And then we've also got these beautiful dies that go along with it. So there are dies that actually die cut the images from the stamp set, but then you've got some that are die cutting um, bigger trees, which is what my focal point is for my card. So you'll get to see how I use that. And there's some beautiful designer series paper in this suite. It's called Beauty of the Earth Suite. And the Beauty of the Earth DSP is gorgeous. Now I'm not gonna show you all of the images in it in this video because I already did that in my unboxing video. And I'll put a link up in the top right corner. It's gonna pop up right now. You can click on that so you can see all the papers or you can click on the video link below in the video description of my unboxing. And while you're there, you can also check out all the other neat stuff I got from the new catalog that's coming up. So, like I said, isn't that gorgeous? I love the greetings in it. It's just a wonderful set. And you can definitely get really elaborate and make really fancy cards, but this today's card is super quick and easy to make and you're gonna love it. And the DSP is what makes it so easy to make. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a card base. And if you would like to stamp with me, you can pause the video right now. Click on that blog post link below in the video description and you'll find the dimensions and the supply list of everything you need. Gather all your supplies and then come back and make it with me in the video. Okay, this piece is a five and a half by eight and a half piece of early espresso. We're gonna go ahead and fold this in half, get corner to corner. That makes it so you know you've got it fold it in half that nice crisp crease and let's go ahead and get the little bit of stamping we need to do done first and then we can get the stamp and cut and emboss machine out I just grabbed a scrap piece of basic white now this is a photopolymer stamp set so I'm going to grab my stamp and pierce mat and you can use any greeting you want in this but I'm going to use the one that says I believe in you Gra grab my early espresso ink pad and just kind of stamp this near the middle. Doesn't matter, it can be at the side. I just want to make sure I have plenty of room for my die. So put this to the side, then you need to grab the four inch by five and a quarter inch piece of the basic white, and we are going to stamp a tree with this. So I'll go ahead and leave my early espresso out. And I'm going to grab the tree trunk, stamp first. And because the leaves are going to go out a little bit, I don't want this all the way to the edge. So I'm going to bring it over just a little bit. So there's still a little room, a little white over here on the left side. Hold that down for a few seconds. See, that would be just pretty for a winter tree. I see a, a sampler in my future with this, have all seasons, like four different pictures with that big tree with different uh, colors for the seasons. Definitely do that with this set. Okay, now there are two, uh, this is, I don't know if you can tell this in the video, but this one it has a little more detail to it. So that's my darker one. So I wanna do the Mossy Meadow ink. This is a little darker green than the old olive I'm going to use here in a second. I'm going to put this right over the tree trunk and because you can see through it you know right where you're putting it. And the neat thing with this one you don't have to worry about lining it up perfectly because these are just leaves in a tree. So I'm going to kind of put this over and you'll have two all these different shadings in the leaves. Isn't that pretty? I could definitely make that as a focal point to the front of my card too, but this time it's gonna be for the inside of my card. So we don't lose this, because I don't know about you, when I get to working, I start covering things up. So we're gonna put this on the inside of my, our card base now, because that's all we're gonna do. So you've got plenty of room to write on the inside or to stamp another greeting if you'd like. We've always gotta make those in, the inside of the card special too. There we go, isn't that pretty? I, oh, I love this stamp set. I know I say love a lot, this, I'm, I love stamping. I've been doing this for 18 years now, so I still get excited. Okay, let's go ahead and get the stamp and cut and emboss machine out and we'll get some die cutting done. 
Okay, first off, let's go ahead and get some embossing done. We're going to be using the Tasteful Textile folder. I use this one a lot. I am so excited that this is still going to be in the annual catalog. So if you don't have it, you've got some time to get it still. And this is a four inch by five and a quarter inch piece of Misty Moonlight. We've got one more year of this beautiful color. I love the, this blue. I'm so glad that it's not retiring yet. It will be in about a year, but glad I have another year to play with it. And then I'm putting the specialty plate on top. So if you notice, I didn't use the die cutting plate or any of the standard cutting plates, because this is a 3D folder. So that is the only, all you need for the sandwich. And then we've got this really neat texture. Now you can see why I use this one a lot. Very, very versatile. Okay, let's get this set up for die cutting now, because the rest of will be die cutting. So we get one, here's the die plate, standard cutting plate. And let's go ahead and get this greeting. And I forgot to tell you which dies to get out again. So we're gonna use this little square label here. And these two right here, these two big ones. And we're gonna use this one. We wanna have a nice big tree for the front of our card. Okay, first off, since we're doing the, the labels, we will grab this and put that near the center, like so. Grab my standard cutting plate, put this end down, and then bring the rest of it down nice and slow so the die doesn't move. I just find that's the easiest way to keep it in place. Okay, pull this out. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but it does have a nice little indentation across around the edge, so you've got a nice little border for that. Now let's go ahead, I think we can do a couple things at the same time here. We're grabbing a piece of that Beauty of the Earth DSP. This is a three and a half by three. And I grabbed the one that's got all these little trees in it, but it's gonna have a really neat effect when we die cut it out with this one here, this little detail one. So we're gonna put that right there. And let's see if we can get this other one in here. It might be a little too big. Now that's gonna be a little too big. Let's see if, yeah, I think we can do this one though. Put this one here, get that in the right angle again. And then we're gonna grab this big one for this. And we're gonna run it through. Okay, I'm gonna hold this. There we go. Once we've got it going underneath here, I know those dies aren't gonna move. So now we've got this piece. Isn't that neat? I don't know if you can see all the little holes. Hope you can see here, let's put it on the gray, baby. That's a little better. Love the detail on this one. So put that in there. And then we're going to have this neat guy. There we go. Be real careful when you take those out because they are real narrow. You don't want them to start falling apart. So we'll see, isn't that great for a winter scene too? I love that. Okay, now we've got one more thing to die cut. So we'll grab a piece of Mossy Meadow. I do think I forgot to give you the sizes on that early espresso piece. That was a three and a quarter by four and three quarter. But like I said, you can find all the dimensions in that blog post link below in the video description. So this piece is uh, four by five, no, this is not, it's on the wrong one. Four by three and a quarter, I was looking at the wrong thing. Now I'm gonna grab this one that just does the outline of our trees, because I wanted to have this, now I could have just put, oops, I didn't get a hold of it, this right on there, but I want to have a little more, have a little darker layer underneath, so that's why we're doing this. Put this through, and then we will be all done die cutting. Oh, I take that back. We have one more thing to do, and I forgot to tell you another die to get out. I added this last minute when I was making the card because I thought, oh, it needs a little something. Let me get all these dies back in there. There is also a little die that die cuts two little birds. So you want to grab that one and grab a scrap piece of Misty Moonlight. So we're going to have little blue birds in our tree. Get these little pieces out of here. I'm just going to lay that on there and die cut it real quick. It's a nice way to use up some scraps too and get some cute little birds. And they go in different directions. Oops, there we go. So we could, we're not gonna do it with this card, so we can have two little lovebirds since they're both facing the opposite directions. So throw those on there. Now that is everything we need to die cut. So I'll put this away and we'll get the card finished. Okay, I'm bringing the card base back in and then we're bringing in this Misty Moonlight piece that we embossed. 
want you to grab your last piece of designer series paper. This is that Beauty of the Earth DSP. This is a four by two and three quarter inch piece. The colors in this are so pretty. I love the blues in this. Oh, and look at this. Don't you see a winter scene with that? Isn't that pretty? Mm, I love this paper. Okay, our paper just gets better every year. I remember back when I started 18 years ago, I have to admit, I was not impressed with the designer series paper we had. It wasn't very good. But not too long after that, probably just a couple years later, it just kept getting better and better and better. It's gorgeous. Okay, now go ahead and put this down at the bottom. Put that right across there. Then we're going to grab a piece of the Early Espresso Faux Suede Trim. Have you guys gotten this yet? This came out in the annual catalog last year, and thankfully it's still in the new catalog also, so you got at least another year with it. It really does feel like suede. I love the feel of this. So we're going to grab some glue dots again. So I just wanted to have a little bit of a strip to go across here. Because I always like to have a little something, because I just think that looks kind of plain right there. So we grab glue dot for this end. Help it up a little bit with your finger. Sometimes if you just lift up the ribbon, it's not going to come up. So push it down really hard and then just lift it up. So it's still on the back of the ribbon. Wrap this around and I'm going to put it right along the top edge. Like so, because I want the blue, actually on this time, I want the blue to show a little more. Wrap that around. So we've got that ready to go. Now we can put this on the card base. Get those corners with a lot of adhesive on them. And I always put a little bit on the ribbon because I don't want it to start coming off later, off the card that is, because that'll be a nice weak place if we don't have adhesive on that. Put that right in the center, like so. Now we're gonna bring in this beauty. We're gonna do this. And then let's go ahead and get these little birds up here. I don't know, I think I just took them out of the screen. There we go. <laughs> and this. I'm going to grab my silicone mat and what I'm going to do is on the back, oops, back of this, I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive just on this top part. I'm not going to worry about some of it showing on the outside of it. I'm using this little guy so I don't get glue on my workspace. Oop, I am getting some on my fingers. <laughs> But be very careful when you do this because you don't want to rip your uh, branches. Then we're going to bring this in. I want to make sure I've got the right side. Oh, and I don't. See how that's not matching up very well? Make sure you turn that around and now they're going to match up. So you want this little guy here that's hanging down on the right side. I'm going to lay this down here. I want to make sure it's okay to see some of the branches down here at the bottom, but I want this to be the top part to be within the tree. Okay, so put these down. There we go. Now this one's going to go on top. Now this one I'm going to be a little more careful with because I'm not going to be able to cover this up again. This is going to get covered up. That's why I'm not worried about a little bit of adhesive showing. That's going to cover it up just fine. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my glue dots again, my trusty glue dots. And I'm just going to put some in some areas that are kind of big. That's got a little bit big area. That one looks pretty good. Just put it in a few maybe three or four, at least get one on the top and the two bot top, bottom right corners. I think I might even put one to see. Sometimes you need to turn around and see where you put them. I've got one here, one here, one here, so I do need one down here. So let's do one about right. Let's see here, find a good spot. There, that one will work. And then we're just gonna put this on to where it looks good. Now I'm laying it down nice and easy. I'm not pushing down on those glue dots just yet so I can play around with it till I've got where I want it. That looks good. And now we've got that tree. Now you see why I put that green back there? It just make, gives it a fuller effect. Look at that a little closer. Hopefully you can see that. But isn't that neat with all the different colors? I, I like the different shades in that. So you don't have to just use the fall look to get different fall leaves. You can do it like this too. Okay, now we're going to put this on with some glue dots. And I'm going to use my black, not glue dots, dimensionals. I'm going to use my black dimensionals this time since this is dark cardstock. Put one up here and here. And the neat thing about the black dots, I mean dimensionals, I've been using glue dots so much, I keep forgetting the name. I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals that are also in that same black uh, Stampin' Dimensionals pack. You get two sheets of regular size and two sheets of the mini in one pack. You gotta love that. 
and they fit perfectly. You want to make sure you do the flat ends on the sides down here at the bottom, then it fits just fine. Now we'll take the adhesive off. And see how fast this card is going? And you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and find my big ones again. I'm going to put one right there in the middle because I don't want that tree collapsing on me. Don't want a collapsed tree. Then we'll take these little guys off. Grab our card base, and it's going to go right here in the middle of our card, like so. And at first, what I was going to do, I was going to put the designer series paper on the top, but it got to be a little too busy. So I like to have in the blue behind this here, it just lets you lets that be the focal point. I thought that turned out pretty good. Now we're going to grab our greeting. Now this one, I'm just going to put a dimensional here on the right, and we can go ahead and keep using the black ones. I know this is a white piece, but it's still going to be in the shadows, and you're not going to be able to see it. And then since this is already raised up, I'm just going to put a little bit of regular seal on this end. We'll take that paper backing off, and it's going to go right here. I'm going to have this end go on the tree a little bit, make sure it's straight. There we go. Okay, this end is attached to the tree. Now we want to bring our little birds in. And this time we do want glue dots again. Grab a little, now this one is going to go here on the top part. So I'm just going to put a glue dot at the bottom part of my uh, little guy here, my little bird. I still want to see my greeting. And then we're going to put a little one in the tree. We've got to have a bird in the tree. But I thought the greeting needed a little something, so I thought that made it look a little better. And just find a little branch for your uh, bird. I put this over up a little bit higher so you can see it. Isn't that pretty? I really like that. So like I said, this can be a masculine card, but it can also be for anybody. Anybody would like this card. And then here's the inside here. This would also make a good sympathy card if you wanted to, if you need a sympathy card. Those are the worst ones we hate to make, but this would work for that too. So I hope you enjoyed the Beauty of Friendship bundle as much as I had fun making it. And if you want to make cards with me again, make sure you subscribe to my channel below and click on that little bell icon that pops up and click select all. That way YouTube will notify you every time I do a video and you won't miss any. And if you live in the United States and do not live in, um, I'm sorry, you do live in the United States and do not have a demonstrator of your own, there we go. <laughs> I have some catalogs for you. Here's the new annual catalog that starts May 4th. And this is the mini catalog that goes till the end of June. And you can just click that contact me link below and send me your mailing address and I'll get this mailed out to you right away. So go ahead and show these cards again. And I hope you'll join me again in my next video. And please support my channel by giving me a thumbs up or commenting below. I really do appreciate it. And I love hearing from you too. It's a lot of fun interacting with you. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.